Hey everyone, I know it's been a long time since uh, my last tutorial, but I'm going to try and get back into more regular schedule. Um, I haven't even really worked on my own maps even for a while, so I've been kind of slow uh, with that. But anyways, so um, I was asked recently to do a healing area tutorial, and I guess I interpreted that as a healing fountain, sort of like in Warcraft 3. And as you see on the map here, um, I use this Terrazine thing from the campaign as my healing fountain. And I have two heroes here. Um, oh, it's kind of lagging. Okay, and I'm just going to go get him damaged a bit, and then um, I'm going to go demo off what we're going to make. Um, and I shouldn't have actually put Zeratul here because he's invisible, so he'll never take damage. So he can go hide off here. Nobody likes him. Um, so you can see I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm going to use my, uh, oops, my grenade. And then I'm going to go heal here. And you can see when he walks in, he gets that little visual. Um, you can hear the sound maybe through my headphones right now, um, the medevac sound, and his health is going up. And when I step out, sound stops, visual stops, and his health stops. And then I can come right in, and it's back. So that's basically all we're going to be doing is just a simple um, health health fountain. Um, but there's some good stuff in here that I'll show with actors and stuff. So anyways, let's go start making it uh, in the editor. So first off, let's go make a new map. Um, we will want to add the campaign dependency so we can use some of the campaign units. So click on modify here, add standard, and check off campaign uh, liberty and liberty story. Press OK and wait for it to go. And this terrain will be fine. Um, most people are probably going to use this in their map. But anyways, I'm just doing a map from scratch here if anyone wants to actually do that. Um, I'm not going to be doing it as pretty as the one you just saw, though. So first things first, um, we go to other in the unit tab which is uh, you can press U to go to it um, or layer units and then let's drop a what is it called raw terrazine um, it's this thing here for player zero and let's drop it right there hit escape double click the center here and then change the orientation to be like that about 270 degrees it looks a little bit better and then the other thing we want to do is view, show, pathing, show mesh. And the hotkey for this is control alt h if you want to do this. Um, but that actually would do some weird thing with my video card. So I had to change it to control p. So you can do that too by going file, configure controls, and then find the terrain, and then find path, whatever pathing in here. You can change, you can find that yourself. Um, so the problem with this model is that there's no, there's no pathing blocker around this wall. So, um, if we hit uh, H now, click on this thing, paint pathing, click on add pathing, then click on no pathing, and change it to like 1.5, or actually maybe 1, and the circle. And what we're going to do is just paint a little bit of no pathing around here. And I like to just see it, so that's why I turned on the mesh. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'm going to use Control p to turn this off, but for you it's probably Control alt h um, and anyways, now let's hit U again, go back to units, and let's place some units for player one. Um, so switch to hero. I'm going to drop a Jim Rayner commando. And then for player 15 hostile, I'm just going to place some, of course, zerglings, the unit that I always place in my tutorials. So let me just place a bunch of them there so we can get damaged. Um, and I think that's all we need here. So. I'm going to go straight into the data editor, no triggers for this. Um, and what we're going to do is make a behavior. So how it works is that we have our we have our raw terrazine unit, which you could rename to healing fountain or make your own or whatever. And that has a behavior, a buff that's searching every couple, every few times a second, searches for any units to heal. If it finds one, it's going to apply a buff that increases the regeneration of that unit. And of course, do the necessary visual changes. So we need to give that searching buff to our our uh, raw terrazine unit, aka the healing fountain. So let's call this healing fountain periodic. And it is a, we're in the behaviors tab, by the way, of the data editor. Um, and switch to buff. Press OK. And um, what we want to change here is the alignment is positive, and the period. The time between each checking for uh, units will be 0.2. And we want it to infinitely count, and we also want the flag of hidden 
to be checked because we don't want anybody to actually see this. This is a secret um, searching thing in the background of our of our unit. Um, I think that's all we need to do for now, but I'll probably find some later. Let me just save um, healing fountain tutorial. Okay, and then we also need the other buff that gets applied to the unit if it finds one. So let's call this healing fountain aura. And this one will be visible, so I had to pick a proper name, not just like periodic. And okay, and now let this one is going to be positive as well. The alignment and uh, let's see, the duration is 0.3, so it's just a number that's slightly more than the period here, so that it looks like it's permanently on. And the let's see, max stacks count is good. Icon, let's browse and put a healing icons. Uh, let's see. Search for heal. And heal color looks nice, I think. I like that they added all the color icons. That's nice for a lot of maps. And the tooltip will be this unit is regenerating more quickly. I don't know if that's good grammar, but anyways, that's there. And the modification that we do is we're going to go to unit tab here, and then we're going to change the vital regeneration bonus for life to be three. And that's just a number I found was good for Rainer, but this is up to you to tweak this number. You could do energy or shields if you had like an uh, energy fountain or something. I almost said mana there. Uh, anyways, I think that's all we need here. So let's go to effects now. So our periodic searching thing needs a search effect to be actually searching. So let's make a healing, new effect, healing fountain, search. And the name doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want because nobody can see this in the game. It's a search area effect type, and that's all you need. And then now we go in here and search areas. Right click, add value, effect. We're going to have to leave this empty for now. Um, radius is going to be 3. I think that's a good size for this healing fountain. Um, we're going to exclude add value. We're going to exclude the caster because we don't want the healing fountain itself to get included. Maximum count. Uh, negative 1 is fine. Uh, search filters. We can leave this pretty much because uh, we want it to heal enemies or allies, whichever. And I think that's all we need. Um, and now let's go add a new, another new effect. And this is going to be healing fountain apply. And this is going to apply the behavior, the heal uh, buff that increases your regeneration. So chance is one, of course. Behavior count is one. The behavior it's going to do is H uh, healing fountain aura. And the, let's see. Actually, I don't think we need to do anything else. Um, so now we can go back to behaviors and find periodic. Actually, no, we need to go to back to the search effect. Sorry about that. I knew I missed something. The search areas plus, we need to actually make this effect be healing uh, fountain apply. So, and then we go back to behaviors here, and then on our periodic, in effect periodic. Uh, did I double click it? No, I didn't. In effect periodic, search for H, click on H again, I mean, and find healing fountain search. So now you can see down here, if you have this thing checked here, and by the way, if yours don't match mine, this is what I find ideal to edit with these all checked. Um, so we have our periodic thing that will be on our fountain, and that's going to search every 0.2 seconds using this. It's going to search in a radius of 3, and if it finds anything, it's going to do this, and this thing is going to apply the aura, which lasts for 0.3 seconds. So it's going to put on the aura for 0.3, and it's going to re put it's going to put it on every 0.2. But of course, there's a maximum stack count of one, so it won't over it won't create doubles. And that's going to create make it look like you're always getting the buff when you're in range. And then when you walk out of range, this 0.3 is going to run out, and the buff will come off you nicely, like you saw in the beginning. Um, so I think that's all we need here. And then let's give it to our unit. So search for go back to the units tab and search for raw terror. And that should bring that up, yep. And let's get rid of these random abilities from the campaign, just so it doesn't do anything. And we'll get rid of this behavior. Well, I'll just change the behavior to be healing, healing fountain periodic. There we go. So make sure you put periodic on this guy, and not the actual buff that gets applied to units, because then nothing will happen. Um, and now we want the actual visual effects, so go to actors, uh, clear the search bar. Um, I'm going to save one sec, 
Do I want to lose this? Okay, I'm going to right click in anywhere in the actors here and click add object. And what we're going to add is the healing fountain visual. Doesn't matter what the name is, nobody in game can see this. Actor type is model. And by the way, I always click suggest, just always do that as a habit. And the model, and it's going to be buff continuous. Okay. And come on. Okay. And let's see, what do we got to do here? So the model I'm going to use is my favorite model for doing anything, uh, Active Crystals. It always looks good, and it always is just the thing I know, and it's right there at the top of the list, so I always just use that. Um, but by all means, go search through the millions of models and find something more custom. Um, so in Events here, double-click, click on the bottom one, and then right-click Add Event. Well, you don't have to click on the bottom one, but I like to put all my stuff down below. Um, and then change the event to be uh, B behavior H healing fountain aura on and when it's on we want to create and then perfect and then copy this and paste it and then we change this to off and then change the create to destroy so it'll come off and on nicely and press OK and one th great thing about when you make a new model uh, actor is that it already puts this thing in here which this so it'll automatically play a birth stand or death animation if the model has one and most most buff models like active crystals um, they don't just work you actually have to play a birth animation to get it going so this will automatically take care of it and all that so that's kinda nice um, uh, event terms one thing you want to do here is press the green X change it to cap and make it one so this will just cap it off at one one effect, one visual on the unit, so it won't have like two of them at the same time if it if it happens. Um, just good good backup to have that. Uh, let's see, I think that's it for this. It's pretty simple, um, but we also want a sound because otherwise you can't really tell that your guy is getting healed. So, healing fountain sound, and this is going to be a type of sound, and based on sound continuous. And I hope this all works when we go test it. Um, let me see any flags here we want. No. Events for this one, I think, will be pretty similar. I'm going to remove the sound done destroy because we're going to take care of destroying it. Um, add event for the behavior of, as we all know, healing fountain aura. When it's on, we're going to create the sound, which I haven't chosen the sound yet, but I will in a sec. And when the behavior is off, we're going to destroy. There we go. And let's see. This all looks good. Um, now the sound. Uh, let's see, what can we pick? Um, I think I used the Medivac one, so I'll just use that. It's a trustworthy sound. Oops, it went too far. We could use a search bar here, it'd be nice. Um, Medivac Heal... Oh, that's Medic. Medivac Heal Loop. There we go. And um, I think that's pretty much it. If I go in game now, we're gonna we're gonna find out how much I screwed up or if I got it right. Okay, so let's see. My guy is fighting here, and he is taking damage. So we're gonna find out in a second if the uh, if the aura actually works. Let me just use a grenade here. Okay. Oh damn! I didn't get. I missed two. Uh, okay. So my health is 209. I'm going to go in range here. Okay, the visual's on. You can hear the sound and my guy's healing. We got this little thing. Now when I walk out of range, perfect. Wow, I actually did everything right for once on the first try. Well, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial then. This is pretty much a working fountain, so kind of cool. And I uh, hope this was relevant for people and not too simple or anything. So uh, thanks for watching.